Welcome to SkyCab. This short video will briefly show you how quick and easy it is to design a project. The first thing is to create a project and give it a name. I'll call it Conveyor Project. Designed by me. Create a first sheet for the project. Choose the sheet size you want. I'll take A3. Give it a name. I'll call it Mains. If I'm using one sheet size for the entire project, then I'll set a default sheet size for the project instead. Adding connections in SkyCAD is very quick and intuitive. I'll add a four line connection for the three phases and neutral, add a single line connection for the earth, and a three line connection for the motor starter I'm about to add. Adding symbols is just as easy. I'll take a circuit breaker from the library to use as a main switch a circuit breaker for the motor starter, a contactor, an overload, a motor, some terminals, and I'll need two ground symbols. Notice how symbols are automatically numbered. Symbols and connections can also be grouped together and saved to your library under the graphical groupings folder to use any time you want. I'll insert a 3 horsepower motor starter and a control supply complete with circuit breaker, terminals and e-stop. Symbols within groupings can have part numbers already defined, as these do. Why would you want to assign part numbers to symbols though? Because SkyCAD can generate a parts list and bill of materials for you, as we'll see later. To make your own groupings in less than 60 seconds, check out the Making Graphical Groupings tutorial. Elements can be copied multiple times by clicking and dragging whilst holding down the control key. Number of copies, I just want one. I'll insert one last grouping for power supply. Component numbers can also be changed manually. I'll change this circuit breaker to CB0. Now I'll create another sheet for the controls. Give it a name. Groupings make design so fast it almost feels like cheating. By the way, in the tree view you can show a list of all the components in the project. Selecting them will highlight the component on the sheet you have open. And vice versa. When I select contactor C3 from the list, we can see all the symbols associated to contactor C3. In actual fact, I want this contactor to be the same as this contactor. They are one in the same contactor. Now, how do we do that? We simply need to link this symbol with contactor C3 using link with and clicking on any of the C3 symbols. And the cross references are automatically updated. Now selecting C3 from the tree view, shows me that the power contact, coil, and auxiliary contacts are all part of the same contactor, C3. You may notice that contactor C1 no longer exists because it has been merged with C3. SkyCAD's renumbering feature will take care of that, as I'll show you later. Now I'll go back to the controls page and select OL3 from the tree view. As you can see, in this grouping that I just inserted, the overload symbols are already linked together. Saved groupings can not only have part numbers predefined, but symbols already linked together too. As with the contactor, I want to link these overload auxiliary contacts to the power contacts on page 1. Another way to link symbols together is to hold the shift key when selecting link with, then selecting the element you want to link with. The component list updates automatically as the project evolves. When I add more components, the component list is updated. Now, I need to link these contactor and overload auxiliaries to their power contacts on sheet 1, but I'll leave that for later. I want a PLC, so I'll create another sheet, give it a name, and add a PLC grouping that I have, fully wired with inputs and outputs. For this project, I don't need so many inputs and outputs, so I'll just delete what I don't need. You're probably wondering where this PLC came from. 
These PLCs come out of the box with SkyCAD. You can easily create more of your own using the block generator. If I open this PLC using the block generator, this is what the block generator looks like. To create a PLC, you define all the terminals using these buttons. Add digital output channel, add digital input channel, etc. Once you're done, click generate graphical block and your PLC is automatically generated and saved to the library ready to be used. Back to our schematics, I need to link this feed to where it comes from. This is done using off-page references or OPRs. Link the feed and link the return. I'll spend a few seconds to link the rest, as well as link the remaining symbols that need to be linked. Adding wire numbers in SkyCAD is done with a single click. All my wires were numbered sequentially and each have a unique number. This process applies to components and sheets also. A PLC block is different from other components in that it carries IO. In the IO list, we can see and edit IO comments and see what components are connected to those IO. IO lists in SkyCAD are automatically updated. If I add an IO comment to the IO connected to R2, it is automatically updated in the schematics. I'll navigate directly to the IO comment. Changing an IO comment on the PLC automatically updates in the IO list, as you can see. I'll take a moment to enter the rest of the IO comments. IO lists can be inserted onto your schematics. In this case, I'll just put it beside the PLC. Since I want SkyCAD to generate a parts list for me, I'll assign part numbers to symbols that still need it. Double clicking a symbol allows us to change properties of the symbol as well as assign a part number to it. Since this is a contactor, you're given a list of all the contacted part numbers in your SkyCAD catalog to choose from. I'll pick this one, click OK, and the part number is assigned to that symbol. To add more part numbers to the catalog, Check out the Assigning Part Numbers tutorial. We can also view the parts list and, of course, assign part numbers to symbols from here too. If you are not sure where a symbol is located on your schematics, you can navigate to it. I'll take a moment now to assign part numbers to the rest of the symbols so I can insert this parts list onto a sheet. I'll now insert this parts list while creating a new sheet in the process. Give it a name and drop the parts list onto your sheet. As with all lists in SkyCAD, this parts list is automatically updated in real time as the project evolves. Notice how the parts list got longer to accommodate the new components. I'll hit undo because I don't want a motor starter there. Once you're proficient with SkyCAD, you can create a project from start to finish in less than 10 minutes as I've done now, and everything you've seen so far comes with the free standard license. If you'd like to get started, we recommend starting with the tutorials. Quick and easy tutorials can be found here, under the Tutorials Support tab, where you can find tutorials on getting started, getting better, and getting flying. If you haven't done so already, you can download your free standard license of SkyCAD at skycad.ca.